Today we're gonna do a facial cleanse. We're gonna use round cotton rounds or sponges, cleansing cream, spatulas and orange wood sticks. We're also going to need uh, swabs, more cotton pieces, cotton, astringent or toner, uh, we're gonna need also a wet towel, warm wet towel. We're gonna need facial tissues, disinfectant wipes, hand sanitizer, and you may wanna use sometimes uh, wipes, makeup remover wipes. Um, <clears throat> we also need to make sure our model is properly draped. We already have our model draped with coverings of the head and the neck the, the models are laying down we want to make sure we're going to start so we also have to protect ourselves by using mask goggles or face shields and gloves uh, since now we are in uh, epidemic times we want to use gloves every time we touch a client we also going to use hand sanitizer that is important to have it available at all the times. A cleansing cream. So I'm gonna grab some of this cleansing cream with one of the spatulas, open my jar or container, grab a little bit and put it on the back of my hand. Close the container, make sure always close the containers. The spatula goes to the trash. And I'm going to use this cream apply it on my fingertips and warm it up and then apply it over the eye area make sure your hands are warm uh, when you're wearing gloves you don't have to worry much about warming up your hands because um, it's not there and then uh, what you're gonna do is you blend it over the eye makeup and you're gonna grab two ra cotton rounds and remove it with out and down motions, as you see, very carefully and soft until the eye makeup is removed. Then we're gonna go and remove the mascara so I can bend uh, those cotton rounds and place one cotton round on the bottom and with the other one, I will remove um, the mascara from the eyelashes in this movement cotton runs go to the trash there's always a little more makeup left so I'm gonna use the swaps and lightly and slowly I will remove the rest of the makeup that is very close to their eyes so I'm gonna switch around and remove the rest of the eyelash makeup those goes to the trash now I'm gonna get more cream I have some cream left in my hand and I'm gonna remove that lip makeup because in many cases uh, they wear in lipstick and I'm going to apply it over the lips from corner to center try not to expand over the face and with a cotton round I'm gonna remove it in the same way corner to center that piece of cotton goes to the trash once I'm done Then I'm going to use a spatula again and get some more cleansing cream the same way. Brand new spatula every time. Put it on the back of my hand. I'm going to grab a little more. The spatula goes to the trash and I'm going to grab that cream. Emulsify that cream within my hands right, to warm up the cream. And then apply it in the three areas, creating a three, the, the number three movement. And so that will be the chin, the nose, and the forehead. So I'm gonna start to blend the cream using effleurage movements. See, if doing a figure three around the face. Then I'm gonna use the scissor movement back and forth over the lips and the chin gonna switch my hands this is called the scissor movement 
and it will clean uh, the area around the lips then I go effleurage movements going up over the cheeks without removing my hands from the skin and then I'm doing friction or circle movements around the eyes nose and forehead you can do this a few times until you feel comfortable make sure to do a small circles around the nose and now I'm gonna do the butterfly movement over the nose this is called butterfly movement to make sure you clean the nose properly so I cross my fingers and I do circles in that area now I'm gonna keep doing a little bit more uh, friction around you can also do the forehead more if you need to and to remove the cream I'm gonna use facial tissues I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers create some mittens and I'm gonna remove the cream from corner from center to corner going in the out and up movements except the nose the nose you go down and everything else you go out and up if your tissues get um, uh, already full of cream you can turn around a little corner so you can keep using it because there's still clean areas of those tissues I'm holding my mannequin because it moves uh, but the client you don't have to hold the client just do, use both hands at the same time once you finish you're going to throw away those facial tissues and grab more cleansing cream or gel whatever you're using same way emulsify the cream over my fingers and apply it on those three areas creating a figure three movement I'm going if, especially if you have a um, uh, something that smells good you can put it over the nose a little bit so they can get used to the smell of the, um, the oils into the cream so I'm doing the again the figure 3 movement scissor movement over the chin up over the chin now this is gonna be a little more deeper cleansing at this time you can also use a steamer along with the cleansing so I do friction right circles around the nose making sure you clean around those small areas uh, they make a big difference so we need to focus on the small areas go friction again You're gonna do each movement about three times. Scissor, I mean, butterfly movement. And now you're gonna do a florage over the cheeks, moving side to side, under the chin. So remember, we're cleansing. This is not a massage. We are just cleansing the face. You're gonna use the, the cushion of your fingers to give the massage. Once you're done, you, now you're gonna grab a warm towel, check the temperature of the towel, and place it over the face, and make sure the mouth and nose are open so they can breathe and you're gonna leave it there for a few seconds if you are using the steamer you don't have to leave it too long but if you are not using a steamer you're gonna leave it there for maybe like 20 seconds and you're gonna begin to clean same way as with the facial tissues from center to corner but every little area that you clean you're gonna move your hands to use a different part of the towel
because I have to hold a mannequin, I cannot do it with both hands, but usually we do both hands at the same time. Turn your towel around, right, on the clean area, and now begin to clean from the bottom up. You wanna make sure you clean as much of the dead cells and debris and anything on the skin. So this is gonna be a deep cleansing, professional deep cleansing that we're gonna use prior to a treatment, a facial treatment. Once you finish, you're gonna get some astringent or toner because now you need to uh, balance the pH of the skin. You're gonna grab a piece of cotton uh, with an orange wood stick, you cannot put your fingers inside the cotton container. Wet the cotton with a stringent, not over the face. You don't want the stringent to get into their eyes. Close it, and now you're going to apply it by patting. Just patting the product into the skin. Do not rub it, just pat. This is going to balance the pH of the skin and so we can go ahead and begin our treatment. This is how you clean the face. This can be used for uh, regular facials or rest facials. Once you finish, you're done. Um, you sanitize your hands and you proceed to the next service.